We got to bring in our next guest here, so I just got to call him up real quick, and uh, then we will bring him on the stream. Ethan. What's going on? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you doing? Can you give us a little bit of background on yourself, and then we're going to jump into the good stuff. Um, so... I actually spend my days uh, working on startups and helping develop startups and teaching poker. And I kind of fell into the NFT thing to some extent. I've been attached to some version of crypto and NFTs for a while. NFTs a little bit more lately. I started with Top Shot actually, got in a bit early. Uh, and then that just kind of cascaded, to be honest with you, where it's, you know, it was Top Shot, then Vive, then Terra Virtua as well. Uh, you mentioned one NFT in there that I have never heard of ever before. What is that? I assume you're not referring to Top Shot. In this no, case. not not Top Shot. We're talking about the <laughs> the a, a Terra <laughs> one that you were yeah. saying. So Terra Virtua has some pretty good uh, licenses that they have attached to them. So they have uh, Godzilla and Kong in there. Uh, they have Top Gun in there. Uh, and what I was really excited about in there is they have the Godfather in there as well. Um, but they have pretty well built out capabilities uh, that enable you to showroom your items in three different kind of locations. And you can get everything from, you know, 3D AR centric Godzillas to posters to, you know, uh, art um, in, in a marketplace format. How did you find out about this one in particular? Ever since, maybe you've had the same thing, but ever since the whole NFT thing started really booming in the past few months, I've made some really good connections in this space. People I talk to constantly. And with that, you know, comes information line. So it's literally somebody I met from... Uh, Vive, and then we started talking about Top Shot and other things in a Facebook group, actually, uh, who mentioned Terra Virtual and said, hey, there's this thing, check it out, let me know what you think. And I looked at it and I'm like, I think it's interesting. I think they have good licenses. I think it's a little less, um, you know, pe people are a bit less familiar with it. They have the same approach as it pertains to scarcity, right? Some items are, are ultra rare, some items are rare. I want to jump now into the Vive.me, which is the premium license collectibles, and I'll bring it up here just so you guys can see the website. This is one that you've probably heard of before because it's, I think, very similar to Top Shot in a way. So, uh, Ethan, can you give us a quick little rundown of what Vive is? Yeah, so Vive is, is basically collect, uh, collection-centric. Uh, most of the people use an app, and it's on both iOS and, and Android. Uh, and they have everything in there from uh, Batman, uh, they have Ghostbusters, uh, they had Back to the Future, uh, a Back to the Future drop this past Thursday, so people were buying DeLoreans. Um, and then with that, they have interactivity, so you have the ability to showroom these items, um, so you can show them off to your friends and, and, and show kind of the stock that you have. It, it's a pretty clean uh, a pretty clean platform overall. The, the other complaints that exist, like on, or, or, the, or the industry, uh, the, the market structure that kind of exists is, you know, you have some flippers that exist very much like Top Shot, right? People buy a pack. It, they, they, you know, they get the moments, they flip them over for, you know, a profit right away, and then they're on their way. And then there are some collectors as well. So, you know, from a structure standpoint, it's, it's, it's actually quite similar to Top Shot is what I would say. So Jay Berm is asking, is there an actual website for Vive or is it strictly on your mobile to show off via that? There is a website, but, you know, I'm going to have the, the worst answer ever possible. I don't even think I've ever been to the website, to be <laughs> honest with you. And, and for you, what does your collection look like in Vive? This is a, a quick example. I think you could see Puffed is in there, the guy from Ghostbusters, who everybody probably knows. And then the top right, you might be able to see that there's a Joker version in there that looks very, you know, very different than many of us have probably seen, to be honest with you. So I've got a mix of stuff. I've got Batman. I've got Jokers. I've got, Puff, uh, you know, Puffed. I'm a big fan of Puffed. So I just wanted to bring up on the screen here for you guys that are viewing to see. Uh, they say, no matter your fandom, Vive has you covered. Whether you love pop culture, gaming, sports, film and TV or anime and animation, Vive offers digital collectibles from your favorite brands, including Batman, Adventure Time, Monster Hunter, if you happen to play the game, uh, NFL, DC Collectibles, Star Trek, Jurassic Park, Fast and Furious, Back to the Future, Ultraman, Superman, and so much more. So we'll jump to Top Shot real quick, and then we'll kind of relate all three here. Uh, for you, how do you hear about Top Shot? How big is the collection? What are your thoughts? I, I had a, a good buddy who told me about Top Shot, who must have been earlier uh, earlier than me, obviously. And when I heard about Top Shot, you know, I, I, I kind of first thought, I think this is, you know, NFTs are just a better technology than traditional, first off. Second off, I was a little bit overwhelmed, to be honest with you, because I looked in there and my friend's like, just buy, right? You got to remember this was like January. So he's just like, just buy, like go and buy. And I'm like, I don't know what to buy. I don't understand the difference between the cards. What's cool cats? What are these filters? I have no idea what's happening here. 
I, I uh, asked a friend to do some analysis for me so we could figure out what the heck is going on and which ones are worth something or undervalued. We did some analysis on that first, to be honest with you. And the irony of that, if that tells anything to anybody is, um, if I had not done that analysis, that took maybe two weeks where we just talked through it and I just bought, I would have been way better off in that case, ironically enough. Um, have you ever looked at Sorare at all? Uh, the, the soccer? Uh, the I've soccer kind of looked at it, but I, to be honest with you, and if you want to actually delve into that, because it's something that a lot of us on the channel, I don't think really know, but it seems like the, there's a bunch of different teams and it's not, you know, a specific league or anything. So I'm confused by that aspect. Yeah, so Sorare is like kind of Top Shot-esque, right? They have cards. They're not videos, but they have cards over there. Um, but it's integrated with kind of fans, fantasy and performance, uh, performance based games that are done on a weekly basis. And for those, there are prizes. You can either win, uh, cards like premium cards, or you can even win cash, uh, on a weekly basis. This exists. So I'm just bringing so rare here up on the screen just so people can kind of see it. And d do you find like th there's any value with the fact that they're just cards or do you think like with top shot having kind of the motion to it, it's, it's, it's kind of in its own space. Yeah, so they're also collectibles. The, you know, the difference is, is in so rare, it's the combination of collectible and utility. And thus far in, in, in Top Shot, it's only been about the collectible, right? But I think that's that's starting to change soon. You know, and, and what that does is it doesn't reduce the value of the collectible. That actually stays the same. What happens is it probably increases the value uh, on you know holistically for all of these all these moments. Okay, so now we got three. We well, I mean technically four. So we'll we'll throw an NBA Top Shot, Serrere. Vive and Terra Virtua. Who do you think is the best at uh, marketing? Who do you think has, you know, the biggest chance to grow as well? In the case of, of Top Shot, um, you know, the team behind Dapper used Top Shot, everything from I've seen, they're using Top Shot as a prototype. And then they're having partners build other parallel versions of Top Shot in their ecosystem because they also own their own blockchain, right? So it's a little bit of a different structure. By far and away, I think that um, Top Shot is the best marketing uh, organization. Uh, but I think they're probably the best marketers. But I think, you know, they don't have yet like the AR and the showrooming components, right? So Terra Virtua and, um, and V both have the showrooming components that exist. And So Rare has the gamification component that exists. So So Rare is probably the most developed of all of them. But even there, there's, there's a lot more that they can do as well to make it more dynamic. I mean, it, it's just cards. It's not video. It's not really interactive, right? So, well, I think I uh, Anavez brings up like a really good point here in the chat, saying like Sorar is kind of complicated. And for me, like when I was looking at the site and trying to like understand it, it did seem that it was somewhat hard to onboard somebody. Do you think that Top Shot has the best onboarding of any of these collectibles, or is it one of the other ones? It is definitely a little bit overwhelming. Um, I think in terms of the onboard, I think Top Shot's onboard was was pretty good. Uh, I also found myself a little bit overwhelmed by the options that existed. Uh, so you have S1, S2, and then you have different common types and different rare types and different legendary types. And, you know, there's a little bit that exists there, but I think it's generally clean. I think Vive and, and Top Shot are, are uh, pretty similar in terms of, like, uh, the onboard the onboard level. For sure, for sure. Uh, so I guess there's a couple more questions in here. Uh, do you know what Zed Run is? I do know what Zed Run is. Uh, we tried to get a horse. Uh, several of us tried to get horses from the drop, and we failed. Uh, so maybe we're gonna we're gonna you know breed some horses sometime soon and get some there. But overall, you know, I love Zed Run. I think it's uh, super cool. And as soon as I get a gap of time, I'll be jumping in there as well. And I think I think they nailed the utility side of it from several angles. It's, it's super cool. So from Zed Run, NBA Top Shot, Sorare, Vive, and Terra. Last comment: Which one do you think is gonna be the one that's bigger than the rest? You know, I love Top Shot, but Top Shot's just focused on basketball right now, right? Um, Terra Virtua and Vive are just grabbing brand after brand after brand, right? So um, as it's currently constructed, it's probably got to be one of those two. Um, right now, Vive is hot, but, you know, Terra Virtua, I think, is a little bit undervalued right now because not that many people are in it. But I think if we were to look at, you know, da uh, Dapper from a holistic standpoint and the fact that they're going to create parallel versions of Top Shot, um, I might point my attention there, to be honest with you. I think the things that they're doing are just, uh, are really awesome. All right. I, I, Ethan, that, this has been like one of the best segments I think I've ever had on the channel. The chat loves you. I love you. Man is there. Love her too. But like, honestly, thank you so much for taking the time today. Yeah. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. If anybody uh, has questions or ever wants to drop a line, drop me a line. I love talking about this stuff. It's awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And we'll chat very soon. Okay. Hey guys.
Yo, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible.